something cool here with Para Horror Convention. We got a couple of celebrities here. We got the event organizers. You guys want to introduce yourselves? Well, my name is John Pursuit. I'm one half of the group from Beyond Ghost and Para Horror put the event on. My name is Moses Mosley. I'm an actor, clown, and a public speaker. My name is Kevin Galvin. I'm an actor from the of Georgia, and I've appeared on The Walking Dead. You guys want to actually, it's John and Cameron. Okay, you guys want to talk about the event itself and then we're going to go through and we're going to talk to celebrities to see why they're here and how everything gets pieced together. So I'm going to event tonight and we'll do the event tomorrow. I guess well, really tonight what we're doing here is we're having a you know, great party, a VIT party upstairs. We've got great party coming in my closet. You know, as you guys can watch the dad, me and John are. Uh, Really just trying to do the best we can to make sure everybody has a great time. Uh, right, tonight's actually a VIP mix, so everybody gets to hang out with guys like you. Hang out with the celebrities from uh, movies and TV as it takes to horror, the paranormal, and it's a great mix when we get it going. And tomorrow's actually the big event, Saturday, May 4th. That's going to be the big convention at the Rapids Theater. And again, it's the best of horror, the best of oddities, the best of paranormal. I mean, you can't ask for much more. Because that's the hot stuff nowadays, and that's what we're all about, our horror. You know, we prefaced this event with this party and got going, and I've, I've only been here for an hour, and like the energy between the people that are here and the locations that we've chosen, because you know, right now we're here at what's the Ukrainian Center? What's the actual name of this building? Well, it's actually the Dnipro, but it is the Ukrainian Center. Sit, you want to try it up? Dnipro? Dnipro. I won't ask you to spell it, I promise. My foreign accent's great. You're like an amalgamation of every foreign accent ever. It's a Ukrainian joint. Up here? Straight up there. Yep. So, I don't know. Nothing but class, by the way. So, those are Ukrainians. We're, we're also really uh, lucky to have a uh, couple guys from the Ghost Hunter show, uh, Brian Rock uh, and uh, Joe Chin. And uh, Dnipro is a self Ukrainian center. This place was built in 1914. John and I have been here several times, and I must say, this place does have paranormal activity here. A lot of people will go somewhere there, too. Absolutely. So, if you guys are in the wrong places, you guys are in the horror side, the paranormal side. This building is haunted. Strangely enough, tomorrow, the rapids, that place is also haunted. Very uh, That's what I like about this event. Love the ghosts. You should have this place. Yeah. This place is historical. Yes. Built in 1914. Yes. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to be having to mention any questions. You know, we're going to have our luck again. Go with it. Enjoy the enjoy, enjoy. Yeah, the show. Yeah, the show itself was actually. Uh, Built by the Germans or ran by the Germans until after World War II. And we brought German DVDs into the building. That's paranormal. Right Nobody there. paranormal too. Hey, Go, those are the way they used to, so come on how did, you, how did you get your arms to disappear? I want to ask. <laughs> I think that's all the most ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's like, it's like, people, like people never even think outside the box. It's so simple. They put green screens on it. Oh, okay. Are you sure that's it? That's interesting. I need to cut them off because you know I still got to maintain it. You know I'm not gonna make you miss this. You're not gonna sell the gun show, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, they had the same effect with Herschel's lady. They had the same effect with bicycle girl. She wore green screen pants. I honestly thought like you fooled me. Oh, we might have you see her. I thought you were doing this the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was cool. Who so then? I mean, you know, yeah. I mean, well, first up. Look, I'm an actor. I can't deal with it. I, I can't deal with that. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, now. Nah. They're leaving me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. I'm an actor. Go still good. Zombies are still good. I don't know where they live, okay? Not my life is not going to be in danger. I worry about you guys. Well, my life is not going to be in danger. Okay, I'm pretty bad at myself. Okay, I'm not going to be in danger. Okay, I'm not going to be in danger. Okay, I'm not going to be in danger. I'm pretty fast at my size, so I got some moves. Cool. I can still run. Thank you. Yeah, all you have to do is up one day and then we can be straight. No, I mean it's it's cool to play dead, but to like be dead, mm, different level. Yeah, it's it's, 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 it's a different real. I didn't expect to say that. It's right there. I agree. 
Now, the two of you on the outside are obviously yeah. event promoters. Yes. But three yourself, this is a whole new event where you start to do like this. Is this going to be something that you're going to be doing in the future? Is this your first time doing this? Or how is this going to go about from here on out? Oh, really? It was, um, I've been actually doing this for about two years now. I started out as an original model, but I did not make it a transaction into acting. And I've been, I've been at it uh, constantly. Like, I've had feature parts in a couple of other uh, television shows, uh, a couple of movies, and I'm still auditioning. So I, I feel like my mom would think as well, but acting is my passion. That's the best thing I love. That's cool, man. Like, uh, I actually, I came at it from a different point of view. Um, I wasn't really an aspiring actor performer in the first place. I was a zombie fan who was like in the right geographic proximity for this sort of thing to be going on. And, you know, like uh, I get on set and I'm like, hey, you actually look like a corpse already. We're going to use you more. <laughs> so that ended up working out pretty serendipitously. And, and now I'm actually interested in more acting performing. Before Walking Dead, you couldn't have put me in front of a camera without makeup, without me just being like, Duh, I don't know why that's fit. Um, cut, maybe. I don't know, but. Kind of like getting thrown the wall. I wasn't expecting anything like that, but, but being a zombie is a very therapeutic thing. You get in that makeup, you don't have to worry about your own personality or anything like that. And then uh, I've done a few extra background scenes here and there, and I do have some cool opportunities to hopefully double or do some stuff work and stuff like that in the future. So here's hoping, you know, I got to be in front of the camera for the upcoming uh, Hunger Games sequel oh, really? without makeup, and uh, I didn't have a panic attack. So that's a good <laughs> news. <laughs> We're going to have one tonight either. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> Now, actually, for the two of you, my question is, being on a show that is, it's The Walking Dead, everyone knows about it, everyone's talking about it, it's pop culture's biggest thing. I understand that you guys were just actors in the show itself, but you two were major actors that were in there. I mean, how does that impact you in, individually? Really, it was just like, it was just an honor really to be considered that relevant to the storyline, and it was just like, it was an awesome experience, just like, just be not even just from the fans and everything. But like, cause I love the fans. Like, the fans, the Walking Dead has the best fans. I don't care what the way anybody says. But like, just having being able to get kind of exposure and to meet and interact with more people and just to develop myself more as an actor, that was just like, it was, it was like no other experience. Now you yourself, actually, you got, you know, you were there when it was the end of the one season. They showed you guys coming back. You actually got to come back a few times. That was. It Something was that, yeah. I didn't, I didn't expect it, but like, especially with the Entertainment Weekly thing, I never even saw anything like that. So, like, when it did, I was just, I was, I was just happy. I was the rest of it. And what does it take to actually get involved and to be in the character? I mean, obviously, you guys were mentioning green screen earlier, but the self, the, the other makeup involved has got to be pretty extensive for, for the two of you both. I have questions for you. <laughs> like, that whole mouth, jawless and mouth. Like, I guess, I saw that person, and I could drive my brain. They did, like the, the makeup artists who did that, they're literally artists. Like, I was even confused about their processes and stuff they went through with it, but just sitting down and watching them draw on me and how they put everything together, it, it made sense, you know? And the fact that they were even able to do that was just like, with paint and with just like, you know, a little bit of latex here and there, it was like, I was, I was amazing. And I was like, even though I had to sit down and be like, a, like literally like just mute for a while and just let them just the work on me. It was still like, it was just, just watching them do it. Was, it was well, you and I actually have like some really interesting overlap in our experiences because not only did you have a significant amount of screen time, we were called back repeatedly, they showed you more than once, you and I both portrayed shirtless zombies. And that's not <laughs> something that's out of our show. Not everybody can do that. Not everybody can do that. That's yeah. a town that only a few people have. Right. And it's right. lucky that they're happy, they're happy to have us here with that kind of talent to do it. How many, how many dozens of times were you told to, or reminded to hold your stomach in? Really, I don't have to, I don't have that. I do right now. 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 I do That's actually remarkable. Y'all are interested, I'm always doing it. Congratulations. Yeah, that's awesome. Really impressive, man. Do you do yourself actually to interrupt this 
going on here? Do you have a website or something you want to promote yourself at? Uh, or really just go to Perfect. Now, there was actually two of you guys together, and you're more of a front runner of getting more attention. Like, how does that feel out of it, you know? To be the two pets, and you're like, you know what? I got the Apple guys, don't worry about me. You say, well, he's an amazing athlete, he's an amazing person, and um, I know he gives a lot of stuff, too, because he's also, he's very talented, too, and he, he actually directs the stuff, too, so, like, just making that transition to an actor, to a director, I know like, it takes a lot for you to do that. Like, I just definitely want to give him homage for that. Because I like, can just work with him personally, like, he, he is a great guy. But, like, as far as me getting, you know, the exposure that I'm getting, it's a blessing, you know, what can I say? Like, it's, it's, it's part of the industry, you know what I'm saying? Did you see this IGN article that they did, the top 25, like, most memorable zombies on The Walking Dead? I did. And you're familiar with IGN, though, right? Internet Gaming Network, I believe that's what the yeah, average is. So, yeah. Millions of readers, you know, I cut my teeth on that when yeah. like day to day years growing up. <laughs> I always, I always like, refer to them. I'm number six on that list, or seven, I'm sorry. I'm number seven at Swamp Walker, the zombie that you know, killed day. Michelle's pets are number two. Are you kidding? No. I don't think And you know what? <laughs> like, there's, they go into detail as to why they picked you guys for that, and it, it, it made sense. Like, I really wanted to give these guys number one for sheer novelty value, but honestly, like, Melissa Cowan, Bicycle Girl, like, she's kind of cemented her status <laughs> in that, like, permanent number one spot. But seriously, you right, you guys were right on her, on her heels. That's, that blew me away. I wasn't expecting that. Because just about everybody else in between seven and then two are main characters who ended up became, becoming zombies on the show. And then you beat all of them. I was right on their tail, and I thought that was great. I, you're right on zombie girl. I didn't know. <laughs> you you should check it out. I, 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 I thought you might be able to hire on In my mind, I'm telling everybody, this is how this is going to go, this is how this is going to go, and then all of a sudden, I see your scene come about, which is you never saw nothing, right? everything. Can you around. imagine uh, um, being asked to do this audition, and now how they actually phrased it was, we, we want you to do this cool gag. Gag, seriously, that was their word of choice. What is it? Gag. They're like, we want you to do this cool gag. And I'm like, okay, that'll be fun. It'll be like a Daryl and crossbow with the head, like slapstick sort of, like Groucho Marx shit. Like, that's what I was expecting. More so. Cool. Cool. Great. Yeah. <laughs> well, they actually told us more about the uh, um, nuances and details of how they always going to end up being killed off. I was also a fan of the graphic novel and the comic books, so I knew that a massive curveball was coming. So imagine hearing that and then sitting on it for five months and literally not telling another soul whatsoever, not even my own like family members who I had previously like kind of been able to get the gray territory with, like. I had to hide my call sheets from my own mother, who was yeah. like, who I caught, like, like, top secret, like, like going through them, like one night when I got home and left them on the the, the buffet, and I came out and she's like looking at this, and I'm like, no. Say I know they got the papers away. I was getting drunk no. constantly. Like as soon as they found out that I was going to be on the show, I was getting messages on Facebook from people I haven't talked to since ninth grade. They're like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I got a friend. I'm like, look, you're not about to rule my career. I'm not telling you anything because no. But like, this, it, it, it was great. Like, it was so great. I love it. So it's safe to say that the experience being on the show changed you guys' lives, huh? Yeah. That's an understatement. It's hard to put it into words. When people ask me what the overall experience was like, I usually fall back on saying it's like living in a Salvador Dali painting because it's so oh, surreal. It's possibly surreal to describe it. The weirdest dream that you've ever had in your entire life that you couldn't convey to someone else in words, like being on The Walking Dead was like a thousand times more intense and complex than that in my opinion. Like there's, I, I hadn't been on the show in over a year and we filmed like, we filmed Swamp Water stuff over a year and a half ago. I'm still waking up like, did that really happen? Like I don't, I don't know how to wrap my brain around it. Right. And, and 
and I, stu I studied like parapsychology and altered states of consciousness for fun and mm -hmm. for like a professional living and like no, it's still right door. Door. it's yeah, still dwarfed right. by these walking dead experiences in terms of like being able to far out and comprehend it or really integrate it. Good for you guys, that's awesome. Now you actually had your story right art in Playboy and that uh, was a few page <laughs> 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 How was that? You know, that's gotta be amazing. Like, obviously, you're modeling, doing a lot of work on your own, but you know, play one itself. Did uh, did you get invited to the mansion or anything like that, or did not you? yet? I don't want to go home. Oh. <laughs> Like, he's going off on a tangent, and I'm sitting there grinning from ear to ear, like, I can't believe this is a real thing that's happening. 
And in the middle of it, his demeanor pulls a total 180. He's just like, yeah, but seriously, if you ever let it go to your head, I'll just fucking fire you. <laughs> 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 uh, that somebody had seen you right now and you know what, you'd be perfect for my role. Same location to get a hold of you? Say that again? If work. work, exactly. If somebody else sees this right now and they want to book you for something, the, the Facebook itself or... Right, they'd be able to contact you. Perfect. I'd, I'd be surprised if, if like, they solicited a new job on a million million hits a month, my man. You never know. There you go, man. Um, you know who you're talking about. <laughs> She <laughs> <laughs> you know how I was going to do it. Yep, uh, my name is Cameron. I, I run a uh, paranormal sponsorship corporation, fitsociety.com. Uh, you can check me out on Facebook, uh, Greater Western New York Paranormal Society. Uh, yeah, so we're just happy to be here. We're part of this whole show, man. It's great stuff. <laughs> I think Jazz has something to say. That's it. You got a show coming up? What's the day of the show, man? Uh, June fifteenth, you and Screech, right? Screech, yeah. yeah I, think, uh, I do a lot of campaigns and a lot of fun stuff. I'm trying to make a profit, so I mean, I'm doing comedy acting, you know, just. What's your claim to fame, though, Johnny? Claim to fame? Uh, raising that by Freddie Krueger. All right, we got a special guest here. How can I help you out today? This is Jerry. Jerry's one of the guys who runs the e Bros. All right. It's a repository of things. What's the board members here? Thanks for having us. We're here all year. Nice crowd building. Nice group here. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. I'm pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah that's what they're saying. There's an awesome party going on upstairs right now. Oh, yeah, he's like, he's bright. Yeah, he's yeah. in the chat. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 I didn't do it. Ooh, I didn't think I'd be coming up here and get jumped on it, honestly. <laughs> like, that, that's the, you're probably the last person I ever would guess. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I mean, I, 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 for the three, you I'm, 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 I'm in half track for like an hour now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 the mix that you three get being at the convention, it's got to be something that you, know, you never know who's ever going to be at the shows. We've got John. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're trying to put a pair of four. I mean, everything is paranormal, everything is four. And I tell you, the most horrific thing that's ever happened to anything in life is probably something like this. That's the amount of horror you get. That's a really horrific thing. You know what? I never heard it like that. It's not really about it. It's four. It's sitting here. I really can't. But, uh, we really appreciate you guys coming out. Thank you so much. We got to take this event for this. Thank you guys so much for inviting us. He's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he's so gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not a bit of a style, but you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And for everybody that enjoyed this and seen what you liked, if you want to go and see more from each one of these individuals, the best place would be for the following is? All of us. Paramore.com. Facebook slash TWB Swampwalker, but I also have my side business at Facebook slash Reality Times. Go there and check out the About tab if you're curious about what I'm doing. You go to VinceSociety.com or check me out on uh, my current home too for Great Russian Paranormal Society. You go to my buddy's website, SofaKingCool.com. Booyah. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank everything. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it too. Thank you.